Hey everybody, it's Rick with Stumps, and I'm back today playing more Kerbal Space Program. And today we're gonna do something different, guys, because I've downloaded a mod. And, uh, what is this mod, you might be asking? Well, it's a mod. It's gonna allow us to send food into space. Oh yes. Today, we're sending a burger into space. I don't think that we, uh, have a, uh, a crew. There's no crew capacity here. So, it's just gonna be a burger. No crew. Burger, hold the crew, if you will. And you can see that our fuel tanks, we have uh, some burger meat. We have a burger bottom bun. It says, every burger needs a bun. Why not use a one that contains fuel? We've got some onion as well. And uh, we can keep going. Our engine is a ketchup bottle. What really makes a burger fly? Ketchup, of course. And what else do we have? I don't, let's see, we have a tomato command module. Or command and control, rather. This is like the uh, the reaction wheel for our burger. And I don't think there's anything in the structural department that is burger-themed. But if we go into aerodynamics, we have some bacon winglets, all right? Then we can go into our utility, and we've got cheese. This is just so cheesy, it'll keep you powered for a while. This cheese is cheesy. It's got a thousand electrical charge. That's really good. We've also got some pickles. And uh, what else do we have? Ah, lettuce, of course. Lettuce, uh, all enjoy a good burger, one that flies. Lettuce, oh, get it, it's a pun. Lettuce, all enjoy a good burger, one that flies. I get it, I get it. All right, so there we go. That's our burger, you guys. And so I'm going to go ahead and start piling on the toppings. So we're going to need some cheese, right? We're going to need some pickles. I think the pickles are going to go over the cheese. Got to put the cheese on the meat, right? That's, that's just a, how you prepare burgers there. But before we put the cheese on, we're going to need to put our uh, reaction wheel, which is our tomato. Bam! Oh, man, this burger's already looking really good, and it's getting me really, really hungry. Now we're going to need meat, of course. And I'll probably want a separation stage for our meat, right? So here we go. Or maybe I don't want a separation stage. You know what? I take that back. No, I don't. We're going to go ahead and start stacking our meat on. Let's see. I'm going to make this a big burger, all right? This is going to be like a 4x4. Uh, a four four. This is... Uh, anybody who's ever gone to In-N-Out, you might be familiar with their 4x4 four four burger. That's what this is. Oh, we need some onion, too. Of course we need onion. There we go. Going to have to move the cheese because... Can't have onion between the cheese and the meat, right? There we go. Oh, that's looking good. And then we're going to put the burger bun on. There we go. Oh, that looks so delicious. That looks so good. Let's uh, do a little zoom in here. Oh, man. What a burger. And we need our engine, of course, which is going to be the ketchup. Bam. Kinds tomato ketchup. What do you guys think? And it doesn't look like that rocket is going to stand on the launch pad very well. So we'll probably need... To reinforce it structurally so let's go ahead and put four of those on and just drop this down a little bit how's that All right, i think that's good crank it up oh yeah there it goes and it's making a disgusting ketchup sound this engine though it's not very uh it's not very fast we're going very slowly as a matter of fact oh that sound is disgusting it's such a bad sound I may have to build a new burger with a different rocket because this rocket is, uh, ooh, it's gross. Super gross. Okay, everybody, I've ordered a burger with extra boosters, and it's still a little bit undercooked, and so I need to send this thing back to the kitchen. We need to finish cooking this thing, and there's only one kitchen big enough in the universe that I know to cook a burger of this size, and that's the sun. we got to get this burger to the sun, you guys. There we go. That should do the trick. Oh, it's starting to shake. It's starting to shake. Oh, stay together, burger. Stay together. Oh, no. Where are you going? Okay, so we had a slight issue there. No big deal. No big deal. We can do this. Uh, more boosters. That's that's all we need. It's just uh, more boosters, right? When, when you have a problem like this, you just uh, keep adding more boosters until the problem's solved. All right, this is absolutely ridiculous, but <laughs> let's see if it works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, this is going to do it. 
We are going places. This burger is gonna make it to the sun, damn it. And I wonder what the heat resistance on this burger is, because things are gonna start to heat up very soon. There we go. It's getting hot. Hot, hot, hot. We haven't exploded yet, though. This burger, it can stand the heat. Holy mackerel. This thing is resilient! Yes! We've done it! What's our orbit looking like? Holy crap. We're getting up very high. Alright, we're gonna have to separate now. There we go. Nice little separation. There you go, burgers. Just push that out of the way if you would. That's good. Now we're gonna need to start considering a maneuver to get this thing into outer space. Let's see here. Let's set our maneuver right up by our app waps. There we go. Now let's get this thing the hell out of here. Oh, look at that majestic burger floating in space. Oh, that is so cool. Still hungry. Still hungry for a burger. I think I'm going to have to definitely get a burger after this. Okay, let's start floating towards our maneuver node. And now let's start to fast forward a bit. We're going to warp forward. Goodbye. Rockets, you've served us well. And that estimated burn of one day, I think that that is uh, off by at least one day. And we're probably going to burn for like a minute, I would say. So I'm going to stop right around. I'm going to stop around the 45 second range. T minus 45 seconds. Getting close. Alright, actually, there we go. Let's launch. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got a, about a two-minute burn. Hopefully, we have enough fuel to get that done. I think we do. I think we've got enough. All right. We finished our burn. This will get us out of Kerbin. So now all we have to do is just start to warp forward. I can go ahead and cancel this maneuver now. That's done. It served its purpose. And... As we warp forward, there we go. We've got a new orbit. How is that orbit looking? All right, it's looking like that. But we need to try to get us into the sun. Now, how best to do that is the question. I'm going to set us... There we go. Now, I'm going to set the sun. Can I set the sun as my target? I can't, can I? I cannot. All right, that's fine. That's fine. No biggie. All right, our propellant's almost out, but we're just going to let it keep burning. Oh, nope. We ran out. We ran out just short. Okay, we are going to make it very close to the sun. I wonder if the sun's just going to burn us up. I wonder if we're going to be so close that it'll just burn us up. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and release that now. Now we just have a burger. Look at that. Burgers in space. Okay, let's get a good shot of this burger. I want a really good shot. Here we go. There we go. Oh, I'm seeing what what's going on. There we go. How about that? There we go. That that's a good that's a good shot of the burger right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's just orbit around the burger. Get a good burger shot. It's glorious. It's glorious. It really is. Okay, now we now we start to warp ahead. As we fly ever closer to the sun. And I don't think we're going to make it into the sun, but maybe we can make it close enough to the sun. That it'll just finish cooking off this burger. This rare burger cooked well done. I want to make sure that we get into the perfect position to be toasted by the sun. Oh, it's so bright. It's so bright. Look at it. Blindingly bright. Okay, we're getting close. We're really close now. And, oh, look at, you can see the sunspots on it. Oh, it's starting to cook us. It's starting to cook us. We are being, whoa, we're glowing. <laughs> we're glowing. We're red hot. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. M maybe if I just position myself a little bit better towards the sun. Can I, can I, let's see. There we go. There we go. Get really hot now. There we go. Come on. Cook me. Cook me, son. Cook me. 
Oh, bother. See, the underside, obviously, not cooking. As well as the... Oh, oh, oh! Is it gonna explode? Is it gonna explode? It's... Oh! It exploded! We did it! <laughs> we exploded! Woo! All right. Oh, man. So there you have it, guys. Uh, look at that. I reloaded my game, and, uh... I'm now missing the top bun. But, uh, it's okay. <laughs> because we still got one bun. And plenty of, uh, other things to get... Let's see. There we go. Just toast that bun a little bit. I don't want to push it, though. Don't push it. There we go. Anyway, guys, I had fun checking out this burger mod. It was kind of crazy. Kind of fun to look at for uh, one episode. And I want to look at more mods. So if you guys have some good mod suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if you guys liked this as much as I did, then be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.